See, every year he does this, our friend Lopaka Kapanui tells us a bunch of spooky stories that get us really creeped out going into Halloween. So here he is today, a local ghost story. This one involves a Japanese fisherman and a protective spirit. When I was a kid, we lived on Mashado Street in Kalihi. Two doors down was our Japanese fisherman neighbor, Fuji. We never knew his real name, so that's why we called him Fuji. He used to come over every night with boiled peanuts, sashimi, and we would hibachi with my dad and a couple of the neighbors. My dad asked him one time, Fuji, don't you have any kids, any family? How, how come you come over every night and, you know, bring sashimi and boiled peanuts? Not that we don't like you coming over, we appreciate the fish, but where's your family? And Fuji told my dad, before, on payday, he would stay on the fishing boats with the other Japanese fishermen and they would play chohan, the Japanese dice. And Fuji said he was good. He was so good, sometimes he had to take off his shirt while he played chohan, so everybody would see that he wasn't cheating. Fuji said one night he won $3,000. And three of the other Japanese fishermen kept telling him, come on, come on, play one more time, let us win our money back. And Fuji said, no, 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 I have to go home already. Fuji said he was so drunk that he decided not to drive back to Mashado Street. So from Kewalo Basin, he walked all the way to Kalihi. He said, but when he was walking up School Street, passing the old Puea Cemetery, he said, Akualele came out of the cemetery and started chasing him around. And it actually chased him into the cemetery. And then more Akualele came, orbs of flame surrounding him. And every, try, every time he tried to escape the cemetery, the Akualele would block him, wouldn't let him leave. He said after several hours, finally, <sighs> Akualele was gone. And he finally made it home to his house on Machado Street and found police arresting the three fishermen from the boat who wanted him to stay and give them a chance to win back their money. Apparently, they'd been waiting there with knives, prepared to rob him and stab him if they had to. And Fuji said to my dad, so the Akualele protected me, kept me in the cemetery, kept me from being stabbed. Somebody saw the tree guys call the cops, they get arrested. After that, more safer for me to come over here with sashimi, boiled peanuts, hibachi with you folks. That's why I come every night. So don't mess with Uncle Fuji. Hey, you can hear more spooky stories from Lopaka on Facebook Mysteries of Honolulu. He's doing a virtual tour this year, 13 Tales Over the Pali on Friday. You can sign up on that page. He's also on Instagram and Twitter. His stories are fantastic at Mysteries of Hawaii. And his website is also mysteries mysteriesofhawaii.com. Mysteries-ofhawaii.com. There you go.